Top of the hour, let's get you what's expected today as far as the legal fight for Asta is concerned. That is also to resume in the Varanasi District Court, who will be the judge. The hearing will be taking place of the pleas that will be both of the Hindu and the Muslim sides. Now, the main contention from the Muslim side is when it comes to the maintainability of the suit that has been filed by the Hindu side seeking survey, extension of survey, and holding daily prayers. Now, while the Hindu side will be fighting to demolish as far as the basement wall is concerned, and under which the said structure which resembles a shivling that has been found an extension of the mosque survey plus clearing of the debris. So this comes after the Supreme Court had refused to intervene in the matter taking a balanced view last week. The top court had ordered the transfer of the Gyanwape mosque case from the civil judge to the district judge in Varanasi. देखिए मैं बाबा के लिए पिटिशन मांग रहा हूँ किसी भक्ति के लिए बाद में क्योंकि बाबा चूंकि हमारे बानवे के पहले जो नंदी के दरवाजे के सामने जो दरवाजा था उसको जो सील कर दिया उसको खोल दिया जाए हम भूतल के अंदर जो सीलिंग है उसके पूजन आदि चूंकि उनको राग भोग सेवा बहुत दिन से लग नहीं लग नहीं रही चूंकि उनको लगना नहीं था हमारे सनातन धर्म में हमारे हिंदू धर्म साथ में हमारे वेदों में हमारे पुराणों में सर जगह वर्णित है कि बाबा की सेवा पूजा होना चाहिए तो मेरे पूर्वजों के द्वारा स्थापित शिवलिंग है सब कुछ है उस परिसर के अंदर जितने भी शिवलिंग है वो सब हमारे पूर्वजों का है तत्काल जो है इसका दे दीजिए और मैं ऐसा कोई ऐसा कार्य नहीं करूँगा जिससे कि देश का समाज का माहौल थोड़ा भी गड़बड़ हो जो भी कमिश्नर रिपोर्ट लीक हुई है जिसके द्वारा लीक की गई है हम लोगों ने यह तय किया है कि पूरे कमिटी पूरे प्रकरण कमिश्नर रिपोर्ट लीक हुई है वीडियोग्राफ जो टेलीकास्ट किए गए हैं जो अंदर की फोटोज लीक हुई हैं इस पर जितने लोग भी इसमें इसमें जिम्मेदार होंगे सब लोगों के खिलाफ कार्रवाई करने की मैं मांग करूंगा all right so uh, those are the reactions that have come in but of course uh, we are also looking at developments to take place today and at times now we'll get you the top updates accurate information from the court now to get you what exactly the petition is and what has been found in the survey because the entire focus was on the survey that had been conducted so what exactly was found why is it that the hindu side believes that yes this was a mandir our colleague priya gets us this report what was in that 19 page report that was submitted by vishal singh who was appointed as the special advocate commissioner bit by bit see what the surveyor saw first of all we will show you what happened in the basement now remember there were four basements that were unlocked by the surveying team between uh, may 12, 13 14 and 15 this was the first basement that they opened and as soon as they entered uh, this basement 2 feet ahead next to the door is a wall this is what the survey said now what did they see on this wall they saw that 3 feet above the ground there were motifs in the shape of pan leaves they look like flowers now further when you walk into this uh, basement there are pillars similar to these that are ancient pillars there are four in number they are 8 feet in height they are full of engravings of hindu motifs they are, they go from bottom to the top and all the way around these pillars these motifs include temple bells they include colors there are also images of flowers now let's move on to the next one which is the western wall of the mosque what were the images that were seen here there were an elephant idol with a broken trunk that was spotted over here there was also a wall which showed trident which is carried by lord shiva very importantly as well as swastika again there were some more pan leaf shaped motifs on uh, this western wall of gyanwapi mosque there were temple bell motifs like these on the wall as well which is very peculiar of a hindu temple and so is the architecture which is the nagara shaili of temple making which was very typical of northern indian temple architecture at that point of time now something that you would have never heard of before in this case it is the domes and what the surveyors saw when they went inside them now this mosque has three major domes starting from the one in the north the surveyors say when they went inside what they saw was there were conical structures they were 8 feet below the dome they are the shikharas the indian hindu temples have a conical triangular shaped structure on top unlike the domes that are present in mosques 
this is a feature that is also found in the central dome as well as in the dome on the next of it the, this all of them are 2.5 feet in height all three of them whether it is the north dome or the central dome or the south dome and their base is 22 feet in diameter what does it show that uh, there was a temple underneath and it was on top of that temple that this mosque was built it is an irrefutable proof that has been videographed by the surveyors and submitted in the court and now forms the bedrock of the argument of the Hindu petitioner's side. But the Muslim side still this says all this amounts to nothing. This particular portion that we are going to show is the one that has been documented by Vishal Singh who was appointed the special advocate commissioner. This is what he saw inside the mosque on the survey that was conducted on 14th, 15th and 16th of May. This particular area that you see here, this is the mosque and then they went inside the basement. They were in all four basements that were unlocked but this was the first one. Now they go on to describe that once you enter this basement, two feet inside there is a wall on which you see several Hindu motifs. These motifs are in the form of flowers that look like pan leaf. That is very characteristic of uh, Hindu temples there. These motifs were seen about a height of three feet from the ground. Then they say that further if you go inside this basement, there are four pillars that you can see and they are of ancient style. Why this is significant is because they further go on to say that these pillars are replete with Hindu motifs like uh, lotuses, then you have uh, images of flowers, there are also temple bells that you can see. All right, uh, Shivani as well as uh, Harish, a legal editor, join us live. Uh, Shivani, to you first. Uh, you know, you're in Varanasi where there's a lot of anticipation on what's expected. Now that the district court is all set to take it up, the focus is, of course, going to be on the maintainability of the petition that has been filed by the Hindu side. What's the mood on ground? If you can talk to a few people and get us uh, the sense of what the people of Kashi really think. Well, right uh, when we are standing right outside the gate number four of Kashi Vishwanath Temple and also the very uh, mosque where, uh, which is there in the controversy, we'll also go across to people and try to speak to them as well and understand what's the mood uh, on the ground because, you know, every eye is there on the court hearings today. Everyone wants to know what is going to happen inside the courtroom and uh, definitely there are some visitors also. Uh, sir, Gyanwapi Mosque, what is your thought about Okay, a lot of people do not wish, uh, really wish to speak also, but of course we won't stop. We'll try and get uh, some words from people to know what's happening here. Uh, sir, today the verdict is going to be heard in court. What are the hopes of the complex? I think that we have to come to our Pakshmaya. What do you think of Hindu Pakshmaya? Yes, I think that we have to come to Hindu Pakshmaya. We have to come to Hindu Pakshmaya. क्यों ऐसा लगता है सारी चीजें बाहर हैं किसी हिंदू के लिए नहीं नहीं होना भी चाहिए ना जो ठीक है उस उसका ऐसा ही नतीजा आने वाला है उसका उम्मीद भी of course, so Hindus they are, are expecting the verdict, the order, or the court's observation to come on their side. But simultaneously, as uh, I was speaking, that we are on ground, uh, we'll also show you the security that has been increased here heavily. In fact, uh, uh, this was not there yesterday, but today. Uh, not only the cop security of uh, Varanasi police, but also CRPF security has been increased, and there are uh, two uh, CRPF officials. Those are there inside the, uh, the particular sealed, uh, seized uh, place so where and everything is happening which is there in the controversy and in fact so today also we are looking when we at are here, a large crowd that uh, is, seems to be gathering at the Kashi Vishwanath Mandir there but uh, Harish for a quick update as far as the legal point of view is also concerned are we looking at additional petitions also that will be taken up or what exactly is the base that the district court today the judge today will be looking at Yes, Amita, very important day today because this is the first day when the district judge will hear the matter two days after the Supreme Court transferred uh, the case from the civil judge senior division to the district judge. And today, uh, first of all, as per the direction of the Supreme Court, the district judge will be looking into the maintainability uh, of the uh, petition filed by five uh, Hindu women who have 
daily worship and darshan on uh, of the idols and murals on the western wall of the mosque and only after that the uh, the district judge will go into four pending petitions that is number one uh, number one this uh, uh, petition filed by five women number two uh, petition filed by anjuman indizamia masjid seeking desealing of the pond uh, number three petition filed by the hindu side uh, seeking demolition of a wall and also removal of debris they believe that there are more idols murals and uh, motifs uh, under the debris and on the basement so they had sought uh, further survey so four petitions are pending before the court but most importantly as per the directions of the court the district judge will be looking first looking into the maintainability whether uh, whether this petition filed by five hindu women should be dismissed at threshold or may or or should be heard on merit remember the masjid side will be very strongly citing the places of worship act as per uh, which provides for maintenance of status quo on places of religion as per as on 15th august 1947 but right. at the same time the hindu side will argue that this entire complex does not come under places of worship okay. act it is exempted because it comes under the ancient monuments and uh, archaeological sites and remains act 1958 and uh, so it's expected there will be stormy arguments on places of worship act on which hinges the entire okay. uh, surviving of this petition so, uh, so uh, all eyes will be on what the uh, court really says, says on uh, the 1990 91 act uh, harish will keep a track on those developments do stay on with us because even as a bedrock of the muslim side argument seems to be weakening because of what the hindu side has claimed that they have found proof the fear mongering outside the court is escalating there is a molana molana toki raza now he has come out with a controversial statement because he had earlier called the supreme court verdict in the ayodhya babri masjid dispute case as dishonest one today he has asserted that if a similar order was passed in the gyan bapi masjid case there would be a mahabharat like situation narendra modi ji ka jo tarika hai wo dhurust nahi hai firqa prasti phail rahi hai unki tawajjo nahi ja rahi hai aur jis tarah dhrishrasht ek pakshi ye baat kar rahe the uski wajah se desh ko mahabharat se guzarna pada to aaj ka raja agar isi tarah khamosh baitha raha usne koi faisla nahi liya to khuda na kare hame aisa lagta hai हम किसी भी कीमत पर नहीं चाहते कि हमारा देश एक और महाभारत से गुजरे हुकूमत से बात करनी चाहिए एक प्रतिनिधि मंडल हुकूमत से मुलाकात करे जमीनी हकीकत उन्हें बताए देश में जो माहौल खराब करने की कोशिश कुछ लोग ताकतें कर रही हैं उसको कंट्रोल करने की कोशिश करेंगे देश हित में अगर हमारी बात कुछ आपको ठीक लगती है तो उस पर अमल कर लीजिए वरना हम गांधीवादी तरीके से हमार, हमारा संवैधानिक अधिकार है आंदोलन वो आंदोलन करने के लिए हम मजबूर हो ये जेल भरो आंदोलन एक दिन का होगा या इसे कई दिन चलाया जाएगा ये फैसला अगली मीटिंग में